Okay, this light's a little bright. Sorry, it's washing me out. Um, hey guys, um, so I'm making another webcam video, and I'm sorry, but um, it's kind of like when I make these videos, I just need to like say a few things and like things that are kind of important sometimes. So basically, I just wanted to do like an update video. Yesterday, I made a video, an answer or a questions video. So I told you to put questions below, and the turnout the turnout on that was amazing. I got like like 20 something questions so I wrote those all down and I actually made the answers video to that today so for whoever is still commenting on the questions video your question will not be answered I'm sorry um, I have a little technical difficulties going on though right now with iMovie and my internet connection my dad told me that because of how many people are online right now like around the world and how crazy the um, I guess the internet and the bandwidth are um, a lot of people are taking up a lot of bandwidth Whatever that means, and so iMovie is not even working, YouTube is crazy, I don't know, I don't really believe them, but still, I have not been able to upload my room tour video that's edited and ready to go on iMovie, it won't upload to YouTube, I, oops, I filmed a makeup collection, had to delete it though, because it just, I, it wasn't very good, like it was just terrible, I was so groggy and tired in that video. So I just deleted that off my camera and didn't even up upload it. And then today I filmed the answers video on my camera. And that's uploaded to iMovie, but it hasn't been edited yet. Um, I need to get my room tour one uploaded. And then I can edit the um, answers video on iMovie. So the answers video will be up hopefully tomorrow. by tomorrow. I'm going to work on some... I'm going to work on uploading some videos tomorrow, hopefully. And, um... See what else was I gonna say? Okay, so I've been like sitting here. Oh, I went to Eliza's house today, and I filmed on my new camera. I filmed how to make lip balm and a lip gloss and a lipstick form video. Finally filmed that, but I filmed it. I didn't film with my camera. I filmed it with um her camera. She got a new camera for Christmas. It's the Canon Canon FS 300 41x optical zoom. It is amazing, and it didn't cost that much more on Amazon than my camera that I got for Christmas does so I don't think I'm gonna get this full camera that she has because it's not compatible with iMovie but if it were I would get it in a heartbeat I would I would send my camera back and get this one because it auto focuses so good and it's perfect for tutorials and I just oh my gosh I wish I could just make it compatible with iMovie and just steal her camera because that's how much I love it Though I am thankful for the one my dad found for me because it's really good high quality and I'm still just happy with it, you know. I'm, just, I'm glad I finally have a professional good camera, but if it didn't, if it, if it auto-focused well, I would be 100% amazed with it. But it doesn't, and it only auto-focuses on camera mode and not um, videotaping mode, whatever. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I did at Eliza's today. Anyway, um, sorry, there's somebody out in the hallway. I look really tired, because I am tired. And, anyway, so Eliza's, we filmed that video, and she's going to email me those files, and I'll get those uploaded eventually, too. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, today, I keep saying anyway, I just spent the past hour looking up videos on YouTube of how to tame your robo dwarf hamsters. And I've been studying these videos for a few days now, trying to find good ones, and I actually did find a good one. Um, and I'm trying to take those techniques and use them on Izzy, which I have been doing. I've been taming her every day for the past three days or so, and she's still she's still skittish. The reason the fam that this family gave her to me was because she was way too wild for them, and the other one was a lot calmer. So hopefully I can get her tamed. Robos are the hardest hamsters to tame. As far as dwarf hamsters go, winter rights are the nicest, and that's what Coco was. That's why Coco was so nice. She was just like, she would give you kisses on your hand. I don't know. She was just a nice hamster. Um, and I was able to tame her in a matter of three days. I don't really know what I did to tame her, but I just, it was the summer, so I had so much. Well, actually, no, it wasn't the summer when I got her. It was September, but it was September of my freshman year, and I didn't really know how to tame her, but YouTube helped me, and... Anyway, so Coco was a success, but then she died, and she would, I don't even think she lived to be a year old, but still, um, I hope I could tame Izzy, 
if I can't tame Izzy, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try my hardest to. Um, thank you for to B5 Productions for answering my little question on your page. Um, basically, I'm just going to do that every day. I'm just going to hand her treats. Uh, I've been talking to her all the time. She's in a much better environment in my room because the house she used to be at, it was so loud. And the little kid, the, the boy was, um, he was really funny, but like he, he definitely traumatized her a little bit because she was just, she's really skittish. She's scared of people, truly. And she's still scared of me. I couldn't even get her into the, um, mini toilet paper roll today to get her into, get, to get her into the tub so I can train her. Um, I haven't been doing the bathtub method. I've been doing the, uh, plastic tub method where I put all her things in there and then put a little bit of her bedding in there. She runs around. She likes her new wheel. She goes so fast on the wheel, though. She falls out of it, and I'm really afraid she's going to get injured, but hopefully she's not because she's pretty hardy. Anyway, um, so this is just a rambling on video, and I really, this is not a good video to make because I know you guys hate these kind of videos, but I need some tips because you guys might think that I'm an expert on hamsters, but I'm really not. I, I just like hamsters. I just like animals in general. And I've never had a Rogo Dwarf hamster before. I used to just get Cyrarian hamsters and the big teddy bear hamsters. When I was little, I used to have that kind, and they were a lot nicer. But as you go down the line and you get smaller and smaller, those hamsters are more hyper and more skittish and harder to tame. So I need a few tips. Um, I've been doing everything I can, so I know I'm doing stuff right. She's scared all the time so I'm just gonna keep working with her thank god it's the winter break thank god I have all this time because when school starts back up again I'm not gonna have that much time to tame her but it only takes like 20 minutes so alright bye guys have a good day um this is just basically an update video and I don't know why I made it but I guess technical difficulties on iMovie is why I made it because something's wrong I don't know bye